This video will teach you how to create master detail reports using a subreport and the subreport parameter binding feature at Design Time within Visual Studio. Your end users can use the same approach to create subreport based master detail reports within an end user report designer without the need for writing scripts. To demonstrate this functionality, I've prepared two reports named Category Report and Products Report. The category report is bound to the categories table of the Northwind database. This report will form the master area of the resulting master detail report. In the preview, you can see that for now, this is a very basic data bound report without any hierarchy. The products report is bound to the products table, which is a child table in relation to the categories table. Consequently, the report itself will form a detail area of the resulting document. This is also a very basic standalone report. The XR subreport control lets you reuse a report as part of another report, which allows you to create different kinds of complex report layouts, including a master detail layout. Let's use this approach to make a products by category master detail report out of the categories report. To do this, first rebuild the solution to apply all recent changes made to the products report. Resize the master report's detail band to make some space for a subreport control. Drag and drop an XR subreport control from the toolbox onto the detail band and adjust its size so that the detail report fits into the band. Next, in the subreport controls tasks menu, specify the products report as the subreport's report source. If you switch to the preview now, you'll see that although the products report is embedded, it doesn't work as a detail report. Instead, it displays all its data rows in every occurrence of the master report's detail band. To work as a detail report, a subreport must be filtered by the value of an appropriate foreign key every time it's displayed within a master report. For the products report, the required foreign key column is category ID. To provide the filtering criterion, you can pass the category ID value of the master report's current data row to the detail report using the subreport parameter binding mechanics. To accomplish this, first add a parameter named category ID to the products report. Unselect the show in the parameters panel checkbox. This is required because the parameter will be used internally and isn't intended to be specified manually before document generation. Make sure the parameter's data type matches the type of the column by which the report will be filtered. Next, specify a filtering expression in which the value of the foreign key is compared with the parameter's value. And rebuild the solution to apply changes. Next, you need to define the subreport parameter binding to pass the category ID parameter to the subreport. To do this, click the Edit Parameter Bindings option in the subreport controls tasks menu. In the Invoke dialog, click Add. This will create a new binding. Specify the master report's data field you want to bind to a subreport's parameter and the name of this parameter. And that's it. The master detail report that displays data from the categories and products data tables is now ready. You can switch to preview and view the result. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.